So many people are doing their summary or their videos or their reviews of the year 2020 and it's really interesting to see a compilation of what the main events that have happened in the year and what lessons we have learned and how the year has been on all levels. It's very interesting to see each person's story. As to my own take on the year 2020, well, in general, I don't get excited about New Year, like even in any year, actually. For me, it's just a day in the calendar that is changing, but it doesn't necessarily change many things. You are going to the same job, same relationship, same house, etc., same body. The decision to change all of that comes within you and your attitude. You can choose to change that on any year, on any day during the year. It doesn't have to be on the day of new year but i guess some people find it a good opportunity to say that a new year a new beginning etc so as far as the year 2020 is concerned then i think it's actually a strange paradox because i have learned so many things in this year it's true that this year has been quite depressing and overwhelming and for the most people for the majority of people it's like the end of the world this year was so terrible but I don't want to be uh, too uh, pessimistic or whatever, but I don't think it has been such a bad year because in the past in history, we all know for those who have read history, there are so many horrible things that happened in the earlier decades and centuries. So we are still good. We haven't had Holocaust. We haven't had a world war. We haven't had like the plague or black death. There are so many horrible things that could be happening, but we didn't have to that extent. So there is still hope and we, we must be grateful for all the good things that we have obtained, no matter how the situation has been really hard for many people and especially a special thought to those people who have lost their lives in 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 the pandemic so overall i think it has been very rich in lessons this year and a lot of uh, i think realizations many many important uh, wake up calls and epiphanies especially in the lockdown period like i this year i lost my grandmother to death and it was quite a combination of many factors i also had a breakup i had so many things going on and i assume that i'm not the only one so many people have gone through, through so many things this year which could make it overwhelming and um I definitely learned so many things. A strange paradox is that, you know, we are all obsessed with money and it is rightfully so because we need money to survive. So we are afraid of losing money. We are scared about our future. We have, we, there are so many things we want to accomplish, but we need money. I think money is something which is relevant in everyone's life, no matter who you are, where you're coming from. We can't deny that. However, the strange paradox, as I keep repeating, is the fact that uh, you, the value of time is something that I have been thinking a lot in my in the past months or years of my life. But with the lockdown, it accentuated and it made me feel like, you know, uh, time is such a big asset and we don't actually we are not really aware of that. It seems like we are just concerned of accumulating objects and accumulating uh, titles and degrees and money, which makes sense. Of course, we all need to do that to survive. But um, what is really ironical is that when you die, uh, you don't take anything of that with you. And also you have no guarantee how much time you have left. So you, it is a big question mark, a big suspense. And why is it that the more you have, the more you feel unfulfilled, the more you feel greedy, the more you feel incomplete, the more you feel like you have to have more? So it's good to have that um, motivation to always like, um, how do I say, raise the bar higher and want to achieve things, etc. But let us just not forget the importance of just stopping and and smelling the roses as the expression goes i love that so during the lockdown period for example we couldn't even go to work we couldn't even move sometimes you need to have a, you needed to have a permit to move and that goes that makes you think a lot about your time because most of us we are so busy in our everyday lives we we don't even have the time to actually catch our breaths from the morning we wake up we get ready we have to prepare our food and if you have children you have to take care of them and then you go to work you are busy all day 
and then you come back it's time to cook it's time to do some errands grocery shopping and then watch a bit of tv or pray or exercise and you see that you don't have any time left so i have been usually concerned and i still am i kind of feel frustrated sometimes so that i feel like we don't have enough time to do all the things that we would love to do life can be beautiful it can be pretty ugly at times it's true but uh, we you just want to fully enjoy life because life is really a gift not everyone uh, has it and some people might be wishing they were in your shoes while you are busy contemplating another person's life online that true and unrealistic picture so let us be very careful i personally i am very very grateful for this year because even if it has sucked on many levels which it has it has brought me so much clarity. That's actually the word for it. Clarity in terms of my vision, my ambition, my passions. I can compare like a couple of years ago. I was kind of more lost and I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted from life. I, I could see myself in a couple of years. I didn't have that clarity. So now I think I have it, which is already a huge step. A huge step. Having said that, I still struggle on so many levels. I struggle to save money. I struggle to eat healthy. I struggle to say no sometimes. I struggle with my um, hobbies. I don't have enough time. I can't probably, I procrastinate sometimes. I feel exhausted. Sometimes it's laziness. I don't know what it is. But I am excited about all the things I want to do. But obviously, I'm just a human being, so I can't do everything. So I think that's my a bit kind of my thoughts about the year 2020. And let us just not fool ourselves into believing that just because we are embarking on a new year doesn't mean that all of our problems will be solved like nothing is changing basically it's just another day in the calendar it's up to you to forge your own destiny and to change your own life for the better for the best in any way that you can it's true that there are many circumstances that you can't control we all know that but there are also many things that you can control and i would advise you and myself to focus on what you can control and keep working hard keep living each day like it's the last day don't think too much about the future don't think too much about the past so before ending i wanted to say that sometimes i used to catch myself being so stuck in the past having regrets or bad memories or feeling like a failure or just pondering over things that went wrong why did it go wrong but sometimes i think too much about the future as well like already you feel like if you have to achieve these specific goals in order for you to be happy and like you feel like probably now is just a crappy situation and you you can't wait to get out of it which is also not a very healthy thing to do because in doing so you are wasting your present which is a huge gift and once it comes once it goes away it doesn't come back like we can't repeat yesterday yesterday is already gone and if you gave your best your 200 percent yesterday you will be happy and have no regrets so let's hope that in the year 2021 we are able to give our 200 percent in every single thing that we do no matter how hard it is because at the end of the day if we have to die we will be dying with the satisfaction that you know we have fulfilled our purpose and our mission when we still had the chance to